Hello, this is Mr. Vargas, and this is part eight to my platformer videos. And in today's video, we are going to add a title screen to our game. So that's the only thing we're going to do for this um, for this video. And it's because I want you to spend um, a good amount of time on your title screen. Um, I'm going to do mine's quick because, of course, I don't want you here watching me make a, a, a image because that's essentially all we're doing today is adding an image, some very light coding. Um, but you, I want you to take your time, make it look really good. It's the first impression you make on the player. So um, I'm going to use an image editor. You can make it inside of Flow Lab if you want. Flow Lab has added some um, text tools and, and things like that. So um, some people have actually made their first uh, their title screen into like a simple level. Like it's just a one screen like level where you can it has the title and you can kind of jump around and get used to the physics. That's kind of cool, but I'm just going to do a standard um, screen. So the name of my game is The Abyss. I'm going to use Pixlr to create a title screen for The Abyss. So I'm going to do Create New. The size is going to be exactly one screen. So 640 by 480. And I'll call it Title Screen. Let's see Background. Usually a little color, well, can I resize this? There we go. I wanna just set the background to kind of like a dark, a black. I guess I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that. All right, so create. And now I'm just gonna add some text. And let's see, a font. Ooh, these are like text art. Hmm. I haven't played around with these. These might look kind of good. I'm just going to go, oh, let me try this. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to just undo. All right, I'll just add some basic text, but you can play around with some of those word art. That looks like it might actually look kind of cool. So I'm going to just click here, add a text layer. I'm going to write the abyss. The default color is white. I think I'm going to set it to red. and the font you can change the fonts it actually has i think this is the font from the word art that i was looking at it actually looks kind of good i might just leave it the abyss let me make it a little bit smaller I'll get fitted on one line all right so the abyss and then i'm going to add uh, some more text and click off hit add text again press enter to start and we're going to make that a lot smaller move that down here and now i'm going to put an image here so i'm going to put like a picture of mars that's my first level in the game so i'm going to look up mars um, images i'm going to do um it used to have a tool that lets you pick transparent more. Hmm. All right, let's just, I'll just write transparent here. And let's see. That one does not look transparent. Sometimes they see transparent and they're not really transparent. Let's see. That one also does not look transparent. How about this one? Or maybe it is. I don't think that is transparent. Um, that one's transparent. I can tell when I go to drag it off, you don't see the background. So um, I'm going to, let's see, maybe I can just copy this image and then go into Pixlr. And I, for some reason, edit paste doesn't seem to work but control v does so now let me um cancel oh i have the text tool still selected drag this picture of mars resize it put it right in between the text and there we go 
So, um, you know, I just wanted to show you how to insert an image. Um, this is still pretty basic. You know, you can definitely put some sprites in here. I've had people put level maps. Like I said, people have made um, playable title screens. Um, some people have done menus that you can click on them. Um, but I'm not going to require that. If you want to go try test some of that stuff out, that would be cool. But for right now, this is uh, the, all that I'm requiring is, um, you know, a static 2D image, 640 by 480. If, if your game is the same size as mine, you know, the reason I came up with that size, it's 20 grids by 15 grids. If you multiply 20 by 32, you get 640. You multiply 15 by 32, you get 480. So I'm going to download this now. File, export, quick export, or actually file save. And then you can export it as a JPEG or a PNG. I'll just do what it recommends, JPEG, and save this. So for me, it saves on my desktop. For you, it might save on your on your um, like pictures folder or something if you're on Windows. I'm sure you can find it. All right, so let's go add this to our game. So we are going to go to live, uh, game levels, actually. We're going to create a new level. This level is going to be for the title screen. Title screen. Uh, we're going to move this level all the way to the top. The level that's at the top is the one that starts by default. We're going to load the level. Click in the top left corner, hit create. Call it a uh, title screen. We'll click edit sprite, upload. Find the image that we just created in Pixlr. Mine's right here. To upload, press OK. Press OK. And then let's go to the coding screen. And we're just, as far as code, so I said very, some very light coding. We're just going to do a keyboard trigger. And we're going to change it to the Enter key. And then when you press Enter, we're just going to go to the next level. Similar to the level skip key, but instead of the level letter N bringing you to the next le level, we're going to do e uh, enter. So press OK, press OK. Let's hit play. This is where you'll start. If you press enter, you go to the first level. So that's it. That is um, part eight of the platformer tutorial. Make a nice cut, a title screen. Thank you for watching.